If you could travel at the speed of one light year per second, how long would it take to reach the edge of the universe? In current human understanding, the speed of light is the ultimate speed in the universe, and any object with rest mass cannot reach the speed of light, let alone surpass it. The known speed of light is 299,792,458 meters per second, which is approximately 300,000 kilometers per second. This speed is already quite fast for humans, after all, light can circle the Earth seven times in one second. But when this speed is placed in the vast, boundless universe, it still seems insignificant. This is because the universe is so large. The observable universe alone is 93 billion light years in size, and this is not the entire size of the universe. So even if we had a light speed spaceship, we couldn't travel freely in the universe. But if we increase the spaceship speed to one light year per second, in one second, we could fly out of our solar system. After flying for four seconds, we would reach the nearest star system, Proxima Centauri. It is said that the Trisolarans live here, so we dare not linger. After flying for eight seconds, the spaceship would reach Sirius. It is a typical blue dwarf star, and it is the brightest star we can see in the night sky. It emits a faint blue light against the dark background of the universe. After flying for seven minutes, the spaceship passes by the nearest star cluster to Earth, the Pleiades. This is a sparse star cluster with a diameter of 13 light years, containing over 3,000 stars. After flying for 11 minutes, we reach the Helix Nebula, also known as the Eye of God. The Eye of God is a field formed after a star evolves to its final stage, with a hot and dense white dwarf in the center. After flying for 25 minutes, the spaceship passes by one of the most beautiful nebulae in the night sky, the Orion Nebula. It is also a diffuse nebula. If the spaceship enters it, we would find it is nurturing a large number of newborn stars. It is no exaggeration to say this is a nursery for stars. After flying for 1.9 hours, we reach the Pillars of Creation in the Eagle Nebula. Due to its stunning appearance, it was rated as one of the top 10 photos taken by the Hubble Space Telescope. After flying for 5.5 hours, the spaceship passes by the largest known star, Stevenson 2-18. Its radius is 2,158 times that of the Sun, and its volume can accommodate 13 billion Earths. After flying for one day, we finally reach the edge of the Milky Way. At this point, the entire Milky Way will come into view. It is a barred spiral galaxy with a diameter of 100,000 light years. Scientists estimate the number of stars in it is between 100 billion and 400 billion. And flying out of the Milky Way is just the beginning. After flying for one month, we reach the nearest galaxy to the Milky Way, the Andromeda Galaxy. The Andromeda Galaxy is a spiral galaxy larger than the Milky Way, with a diameter of 220,000 light years, containing over a trillion stars. These dense bright spots, each one is a star. After flying for 115 days, the spaceship crosses the edge of the local group. The local group includes the Milky Way, the Andromeda Galaxy, and over 50 other galaxies. It covers an area with a diameter of 10 million light years. After flying for three years, we realize the local group is part of a larger galaxy cluster, called the Virgo Supercluster. The Virgo Supercluster contains about 100 galaxy groups and clusters, with a diameter spanning 200 million light years. After flying for 16 years, the spaceship finally flies out of the Virgo Supercluster, which is part of the Lania Chaos Supercluster. This is a massive structure containing 100,000 galaxies, with a diameter of 520 million light years. Our sun is like a speck of dust in it. After flying for 430 years, we will see the large-scale filamentous structure of the universe. It is composed of numerous superclusters and galaxy groups, containing at least a trillion galaxies. After flying for 1,458 years, we finally reach the endpoint, the edge of the observable universe known to humans. This is about 46.5 billion light years from Earth. But the scary thing is, this is not the true size of the universe. Because a radius of 46.5 billion light years is only the range humans can currently estimate. Some scientists speculate the true size of the universe may be 250 times larger than the observable universe. Beyond this, there may still be vast and boundless cosmic space. 
It is hard to imagine, even if we travel at the speed of one light year per second, we cannot reach the edge of the universe. It is conceivable how small and ignorant humans are in the face of the universe.